In this lecture, we will learn how to add frame section properties with the help of section designer. To do that, we need to left click on define, section properties and frame sections. Frame properties data window will open. We need to left click again on add new property. Frame property shape type window will open. In this window, there is an option to add special frame sections. First option is section designer. Second option is non prismatic. Third option is auto select list and fourth option is general. To do the simplest option first, we can left click on general section. In this example, we can add for example, ellipse section. We can add the property name as ellipse. We can add the material of that section. For example, let it be a C75. Depth can be for example, 600 mm and width can be 300 mm. Notice that from this point to this point, depth is approximately 600 and from this point to this point, depth is approximately 300 mm. To check the section properties of the section that we have just modeled, left click on modify show section properties. The whole table displaying all type of section properties are now available. We can also add modifiers for this frame section. For example, if we want to decrease the stiffness of this section, we can add 0.5 here or this value can be added as per your country course or as per your requirement. We again need to left click on OK option and then again left click on OK to add the ellipse section in the frame properties window. After that, we can study non prismatic section option. This option is used whenever we are going to model pre engineered building in the E tabs. In pre engineered building in the E tabs, what exactly happens is that the depth of the section from one point to another changes. For example, if the depth of section at one point is approximately 900 mm, it can get reduced to 600 mm or 450 mm depending upon the moment requirements. To study that further, I need to explain you that option with the help of example. For example, we enter the property name here as sloping PEB beam. We can add the section shape as non prismatic. Now this table is available in which there are six different options that is start section, end section, length type, length, EI variation along 3-3 three, three axis and EI variation along 2-2 two, two axis. To do that, we can just left click again here. Now frame section property window will open. For example, we can add here as W14 into 26 and section can be W18 by 40. Notice that on the left, it is W14 by 26. It gets gradually increased to 18 into 40 here. So this is the side view of that section and this is the elevation view of that section. So we have modeled a section here in which on the left it is W14 by 26 and on the right it is W18 by 40. So that it gradually varies from, from one point to another as it happens in the case of PEB. So right now we have modeled a section here in which the depth of the beam or the properties of the beam on the start section is W14 by 26 and on the end section is 18 by 40. Please notice that this option is available. It means that it can further be elongated. That is if we want to further continue the section from W18 to 40, that is section is again changing its curvature from one point to another. What we can do is that we can enter W18 by 40 here again. And then after that, we can enter W24 into 131. That is again, from this point to this point, property changes from W1426 to W18 into 40. And from this point to this point, property changes from W18 into 40 to W24 into 131. Please notice that we have entered length type as proportional. Length can be changed. For example, if this section is of two meter length and if this section is of three meter length, the section accordingly gets adjusted. EI33 variation is parabolic and EI22 variation is linear. So under this option, we have studied how we can model beams for PEB or if we want to model a beam with varying profile, we can use the option of non-prismatic section. In this window, we can also see that 
they are 1, 2 and 3 that is W14 in 26 is the smallest, W18 in 40 is the middle one and W24 into 131 is the biggest one. So we can again left click on OK, left click on section design and section profile. On the top you can enter the property name, below that we can enter the base material, let it be for example C75. Now design type can be concrete column or composite column, let it be concrete column and enforcement has to be design. Now left click on section designer, section designer window will open. Now under this window there are various options, that is we can, there is file, edit, view, draw, select and display. Under draw, there is an option of concrete shape, steel shape, rebar shape, reference line, snap to and settings. To study the simpler option first, we can enter for example L shape. Now we can again snap to this point which is origin that is 0 0 0. Here L shape is now drawn. Left click on this option and then again right click on this area. Section object data L shape window will open showing all the parameters of the section that we have just drawn. Now we can change the color let it be changed to for example brown. Material can be changed, location can be changed, can also get mirror. For example, if you want to mirror about 2, see we have just mirrored the section about 2 axes. Again left click on 2 and again right click. So now this is the important part that whether we want to change the height and width of the L shape section that we have just drawn. For example, let the height be 1500 width also be 1500, flange thickness let it be of 400, web thickness let it be of 300. We can left click again on OK option, we will find that the section changes automatically as per the data that we have just entered. Now again left click and again right click to change the reinforcement, right now reinforcing is no. Select this option and select yes, you will notice that further options automatically become available. That is of rebar material, let it be of FE500, web rebar and flange rebar. Under web rebar option, what exactly by default is, there are 12 tie bars, that is total 22 bars. And under flange rebar option, there are 24 bars. You will notice that under rebar, when you will open all the options, web rebar that is rebar size is of 12 mm and corner bar size are of 25 mm and there are total 22 bars in the web and there are total 24 bars in the flange. We again left click on OK option, we will notice that reinforcement also gets visible now. So now we have modeled a different type of section in the section designer window. We need to left click again on OK option. Now we can check the properties of the section that we have just entered and we can also add modifiers to the section property that we have just entered. So under this option we can add any type of concrete frame section for our model. Now this option is also available for our modeling. So under this option we have studied section designer, non-prismatic and general option.